Hey, groovy people, I'm John. I'm a retired math teacher. I taught middle school and high school math for 36 years. I'm getting lots of comments, people asking me, what's my favorite class to teach or my favorite lesson to teach? And it's this lesson right here. And I did it about six or seven weeks ago, but it's my favorite, so I'm gonna do it again, you guys. And so um, it deals with the right triangle. And this is what the scarecrow said when he got his brain in, in the Wizard of Oz. And and so you got a right triangle, and a right triangle means you have a right angle. And so so the two sides that make up the right angle are called the legs, and the, and the third side is called the hypotenuse. Sort of ring a bell, you guys. And so the scarecrow said something like this. The sum of the squares, so here's the sum of the squares of the two legs of a right triangle equals the square of the hypotenuse right there. Okay, and I'm going to show you a visual proof on the Pythagorean theorem. And I'm positive I can get you through this on this visual proof. There's about 350 to 400 different unique proofs. Some of them are so complex, I don't get them. But this visual proof, I'm positive I can get you through this right here. Okay, so here's our right triangle right there. And I'm going to show you that A squared plus B squared equals C squared with pictures. Okay, so I'm going to just take that triangle and just tilt it upside down and draw it right there. And then I'm going to do it again. I'm going to keep drawing that right triangle. And then so here it is again. And then I'm going to do it one more time. You can see through my paper, it's going to go down right there. So um, I'm just going to redraw that right there. And then um, now what I'm going to do is show you. Um, and then I'm going to enclose this little square up here and enclose this little square down here. And so that's going to get me this figure right here. All right, and so I, ha I have that right there. And then I want you to recognize right here, the side of this whole side right here is A and B or A plus B. And similarly, right here is A plus B. So I have a big square that's A plus B by A plus B right there. And I'm just gonna label that right there, okay? And so there it is right there, okay? Now we're gonna just set this on the table. We'll come back to this, so don't forget about that. We're gonna come right back to that, okay? All right, so. So I'm going to start with that triangle again. Okay, don't forget, we're going to come back to that figure right there. In fact, I might just set that up. Oh, no, no, I won't. I remember now. So I'm going to I'm going to start drawing this thing again, and I'm going to take this triangle, and you can probably see through the, the picture. This time, I'm going to, I'm going to take um, this little triangle and, and tilt it sideways like, like this. And so, and I'm just redrawing it. So there it is right there, and I just did that, and you can see it right there. Okay, and I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna take this triangle and then tilt it down like that and you'll see this figure right here. Hold on. Okay, so there it is right there. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna just rotate it down and then I have this guy right here. Okay, so you guys with me? Okay, now again, look at this side right here. This is A plus B. This is B plus A, which is the same as A plus B. So I have this figure right here, A plus B by A plus B. And sorry, these papers are kind of stuck together. So I want you to, I, I put it over at the side right there because I want, I want us to remember the picture uh, from before is, sorry, is right here. So here's here's the one we just drew. Here's the one we drew a couple of minutes ago. So you see how that they're equal to each other because they're both a plus b by a plus b, this square and this square. So I'm gonna put a, a big old equal sign in between those two figures that we drew um, and they're equal to each other. So now we're in a in a basic algebra class and we have an equal sign. So I have this one that we first drew, that's A plus B by A plus B. This one that we drew again, that's A plus B by A plus B. So they're equal to each other. So since they're equal, whatever I do to this side, I can do to this side, and it keeps the equal sign still valid right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take away one triangle from both sides. And so that means that the equal sign is still equal right there. And let me do that. So... Um, 
Uh, okay, so, well, here it is. I took off the dimension just so it makes it a little bit cleaner right there. So now I'm going to take off a, a triangle on each of those sides right there. So I have A plus B by, by A plus B. Okay, and then I took one triangle away. I took one triangle from this side and one triangle from that side right there. So the equal sign is still valid right there with me. Okay, and then we'll do it again. I'm going to take another triangle away. And then, so there's... The second triangle that we took away from both sides, so the equal sign is still valid right there. I'm going to do it again. Take one more triangle away to keep that equal sign still valid. Okay, so it's still equal because I just took a, a third triangle off of both sides. Okay, I'm going to take one more triangle off. I'm going to take that dude off and that dude off right there. And so as long as we do the same thing to both sides of the equal sign, then the equal sign is still valid. Okay, so when I do that, I, I'm, left with, I'm left with this. So I took all the things off, and so now check it out. This is so cool. I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. There's a square with a by a and b by b equals c by c. That's pretty cool, huh, you guys? All right. Hey, um, if you're still with me, can you, you guys know what this means? Can you just do that to help support this video? All right, you guys. I'll peace out. Take care.